Maple Grove Representative is behind a bill that could be the first of its kind. It would analyze the back end of websites to ensure they are safe for children. Reporter Shannon Sladden sat down with Representative Kristen Bonner to learn more in today's Newsmakers segment. The age-appropriate design code is about building better, safer online products for kids. It really gets to the heart of online safety and data privacy for children. You know, for a long time, we've looked at child safety uh, at, or looked through the lens of child safety when we've developed everything from car seats and cribs to motor vehicles, right? Um, and, but we've never applied that in online settings. And frankly, we allow things online that we would never allow in the physical world, right? We wouldn't say to our 13-year-old teenage daughter, you know, go ahead, sweetie, you go talk to that um, that six-year-old gentleman that looks kind of kind of iffy in the corner over there. Go ahead, have a nice chat, right? We wouldn't say that. But we certainly allow uh, children to be talking with adults who have no um, connection to them over a, an internet or an online platform, right? Not safe, right? And I don't think any parent would say that was a good idea. Um, and the beauty of it is that, you know, I've been in IT for almost 30 years, and I've actually managed the teams who build the software. So I know what's possible. I know where the best place is for business to introduce that process, how to make it most workable for businesses to level that playing field, but at the same time to really do a service to those kids, those parents, those grandparents. You know, we, it's not reasonable to be asking parents and grandparents to become tech experts. That, that's just not realistic, right? Um, and, and telling, having industry say, well, I want you to become a tech expert and read through 20 pages of legalese so that I can continue to profit off of children, that's just not acceptable. So the law would actually change some of the code on the backside of the website, so not necessarily what we would see, but what we would experience. Yeah, so in specific, what it does is it directs companies to do what's called a data privacy impact assessment, which is essentially means that they're assessing the level of risk of their online product, feature, or functionality through the lens of child safety. And where they see a substantial risk, they need to put together a mitigation plan to mitigate that risk, but it also means that they are put in a position to make smarter design choices that build better and safer products for kids. Um, we also have a really unique feature in this bill where if you do that assessment and you follow all of the rules of the bill, we give businesses a 90-day right to cure, which is almost unheard of in any legislation. So. If you, we find through the AG, they come forward and they say they think that they have um, concerns. First, they'll give you a window of time to produce those risk assessments that might be specific to the issue or question they have. And then they'll give you additional time to produce those specific assessments. If they decide that something has been violated in the law, they're going to give you 90 days to fix it. Right? All right, so you have time to fix whatever mistakes a were made. A literal do-over, right? Yeah. And the intent of the bill is not a gotcha for businesses. It is to basically push businesses to think about that online safety and to think about children who are reasonably likely to use that product at the outset, not down the road after the harm is done. All right, well, we'll be following what happens with that. Representative Kristen Bonner of Maple Grove, thank you for being here today. Thank you. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.